over the last couple of years, I've seen this question pop up from time to time in different social media feeds, and that is, what is a man? Whenever I hear the question, I kind of chuckle and think, what an odd thing to ask. I mean, it's going to vary from person to person and from culture to culture. But then I rewatched Michael Mann's Heat, and the answer hit me like a ton of bricks. You want to know what a man is? A man is a guy who works all day, he comes home, takes off his shoes, sits down on his recliner, pops open a bottle of scotch on the rocks and puts on heat for the 80th time. He can't be bothered right now. He has a three hour tour de force to sit through about some of the best men in the business doing heists. That's heat. That's the definition of a man. Let's talk about it further. I get the privilege of talking about this brilliant film today is because Gumo over on YouTube decided to throw some money at me to review this film. And you too can be like this gentleman and become a member at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies where there's a $30 mithril tier. At that level, you get a movie review every couple months as long as you stay with it. I give you a shout out and it's a, it's a lovely thing. You can also do the same thing on YouTube. The same tiers apply. That's where my buddy Gumo was at. And now let's talk about heat. So thank you again, sir. Robert De Niro plays Neil McCauley. He has a very special set of skills. Skills he's acquired, I assume, over many years in the industry. And that industry, that profession is professional heist guy. <laughs> I, I don't know, what, what do you call that? What do you call that job? Uh, I'm a heister. I steal, I'm a, I'm a robber, I steal things. I guess robbers, that, that just seems like not classy enough for what our guy does. And he will tell you, he is precise. He's calculated. He knows the ins and outs of every score he's about to do. Every hit is meticulously planned out from top to bottom, and he picks out the thousand ways it can go sideways, and he comes up with escapes for each. He comes up with scenarios. He comes up with solutions. Now, on the other end of the coin, we have Al Pacino. Okay! Okay! Al Pacino's in the mix. Lieutenant Vincent Hanna isn't screwing around. This guy's been in the game long enough to spot a pro when one shows up. Neil's not alone though. He's got a team. He's got his trusted guy, his wingman, I guess would be appropriate, and that's Val Kilmer. And then there's Tom Sizemore as Michael. And of course, every good crew needs a wild card. And that's the asshole that's going to screw this whole thing up for our team as this movie progresses. And in order to find these jobs, they have to have a guy who kind of bankrolls this whole thing, who finds these marks. And that's John Voight, America's sweetheart, John Voight. And this is just some of the great A talent on display. We got William Feichner in this thing. We have Hank Azaria. And we even have a little Natalie Portman show up once in a while to drag this whole movie to a screeching halt. Now, as I stated, this movie is almost three hours long. It runs two hours and 50 minutes. One of my criticisms, it's a bit too long. We could shave off 20 to 30 minutes, and I don't think it would lose anything. In fact, I think it'd be better for it. The stuff that is extended here is a lot of the relationship crap between Portman and her father, Pacino. We also have De Niro's character getting to know a young filly. We got Kilmer's character who's having a really hard time with his relationship and trying to make that thing work. Spoiler, it's not gonna work. Because the through line of this movie, kids, is you have your career and nothing else. When you're in this position, you have to cut ties with everything you love in your real world because your real world shouldn't exist. It should all be the heist. It should all be the job, whether you're on the good side of it or the bad side of it. Pacino cannot hold his family together because he is 24-7 thinking about the next play, thinking about where these assholes are going to be and why they're setting up shop over here and what they're going to be targeting next. And De Niro's got to be five steps ahead of him. And Neil McCauley makes that very clear to his men multiple times. You can't have connections because at the drop of a hat, you have to be willing to pick everything up and blow out a dodge. 
leave it all behind. This movie is absolute perfection when it's these guys sitting around talking about how good they are at things. I find it very interesting when people are just amazing at stuff. Whether it's a chef cooking up a storm or a woodworker building a fucking stool. That's interesting to me. That's exciting to me. And that's really where Heat excels. Listening to these guys plan everything out. Listening to Pacino go nuts on people. Okay, you think these guys are going to be here? They're going to be over there. You don't know what they're going to do next. He's also a fan of a big ass. Respect. There are certain movies people will point to and say, that's the blueprint. And I truly believe Heat is one such film. It's inspired so many different movies and video games. Off the top of my head, I think about the amazing spot in Grand Theft Auto 5, I think, where it basically recreates the entire sequence from Heat. You watch this movie and then watch something by Christopher Nolan, specifically Dark Knight. I think it's probably pretty fair to say Christopher Nolan liked what Michael Mann was doing with this stuff and took a lot of inspiration as far as how that camera set up, the cinematography, the grittiness, the rawness of it all. Heat from a production standpoint stands up perfectly. It hasn't missed a beat. It sounds phenomenal. The music is frantic. The lighting is great. It's chaotic. It's energetic, but it's got this dourness to it. Those blue hues, that granite city. It's just very sterile. It's very distant by design. These people aren't real people. They don't have the same problems you and I do because they're living in this other world. Not a world I would love to be in, but certainly one I really enjoy watching along with. Well, that's 1995's Heat, a freaking awesome movie. Special thank you again to Gumo for the recommendation. Okay, time to hit the subscribe button. Like the video, if you in fact like the video. And if you haven't seen Heat, do yourself the favor, schedule a little time, pour that glass of scotch, and become a man. See you next time! I really can't do Pacino at all. Just okay! Ha <laughs> ha!